He was the dim-witted Prince John and Robin Hood men in tights. He starred with Jamie Lee Curtis in a hit ABC sitcom. And of course, he's fondly remembered for his hilarious run on HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm. He certainly loved his craft of acting. As for his personal life, it took a long time for Richard Lewis to find love, but one of his final social media posts proved that once he did, it really stuck, all the way to the end of his life. On February 27, 2024, the world lost one of its most beloved comedic minds when Lewis passed away. The actor and comedian passed away in his home in Los Angeles at the age of 76 from a heart attack. His death comes just under a year after Lewis's announcement that he had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, a mere few weeks after the debut of the 12th and final season of HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm, the Larry David-led comedy series on which Lewis has appeared since the very first episode in 2000. So I've never been married, and I think I'm in love, and I think you might have ruined this for me. But Larry didn't ruin real love for Lewis. He married his wife, Joyce Lipinski, in 2005, and left her a touching final message on X, formerly known as Twitter. Lewis's affectionate note about Lipinski was appropriately posted on the evening of February 14th, Valentine's Day. He wrote, along with a heart emoji, Keaton had his Eleanor, I have my Joyce. Lewis's words compare his and Lipinski's love to that of legendary actor and comedian Buster Keaton and his wife Eleanor, who were married from 1940 to 1966. Like Eleanor, who performed alongside her husband on stage and promoted his work, Lipinski also worked alongside her husband and produced his documentary, House of a Lifetime, Richard Lewis. Lewis and Lipinski's love story dates back more than two decades. In a 2010 interview with Pop Culture Classics, Lewis revealed that mutual friends initially tried to set him and Lipinski up when he was still on his sitcom, Anything But Love, in the early 90s. He said her reaction was, No, he's crazy. I'm not going out with him. But the timing worked out later. Lewis also recalled, I was able to commit to somebody finally. I met the right woman at the right time. There's a lot of compromise in any relationship, but it's easier to compromise at 60 than it is at 25. I found my soulmate. Not only do I think I'm in love with her, but I think I found the right, the right one. When Lewis and Lipinski later met at an album release party hosted by former Beatle Ringo Starr, they hit it off. Lewis said in the 2007 interview with Observer, it triggered what she calls the snake dance. I might as well have been a nine-year-old. I was putting on a show for this woman. Soon enough, the two began dating, and by the mid-2000s, they were ready to tie the knot. Of course, the positive impact of Lipinski on Lewis isn't something the actor alone is attested to, as even those around him noticed how perfect of a fit they were. Susie Essman, Lewis's co-star on Curb, said, Joyce has such a stabilizing effect on him. Everybody is looking for that one person in life who will love you unconditionally, and he's found that with her. Still, Essman joked that Lewis remained as miserable as ever despite finding the love of his life. I really like your friends. They're very lovely people. <laughs> All in all, it seems that Lipinski couldn't have been a more perfect match for Lewis. Lewis's death was announced by his publicist Jeff Abraham, who told Deadline on Lipinski's behalf, his wife Joyce Lipinski thanks everyone for all the love, friendship, and support, and asks for privacy at this time.